Coming up on this episode of Theme Park Newsroom here on Coast Channel YouTube channel, I'll be sharing some details about an announcement coming quite soon from the SeaWorld Park. But which one, you ask? We'll wait to find... Well, the title pretty much gives it away, but you'll hear more in a bit. It's time for another Theme Park Newsroom here on Coast Channel YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Donkster Ball and Bob Built for Theme Parks, and your Theme Park journalist worldwide. Today is another Theme Park News and Update, which hails from SeaWorld San Antonio on their brand new Flume Ride for 2023. Now, before we get started on the details, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to never shoot your video. Social medias are in the description down below. And for now, guys, let's have a look at the announcement date, or potentially when the announcement date could be coming for SeaWorld San Antonio's new attraction next year. So park fans on social media have seen evidence that suggests that an announcement could be coming quite soon for SeaWorld San Antonio. Now this is for their brand new attraction which you can see the picture of on your screen now uh, at the minute. Now this is from park fans, again massive shout out to them. Uh, one of the guys from park fans is a big fan of the videos that I've done in the past so massive shout out to every single one of you that loves them over at park fans. Now these are site plans on your screen. Sewer San Antonio are planning to build a new log flume type water ride on the site of their former Texas Splashdown Long Flume. This new attraction is slated for reuse much of the former ride's queue and station and the new layout even integrates entire sections of the original layout of Texas Splashdown. Now here's the full site plan and the details around the attraction. So at first the new log flume sounds sort of boring but this could potentially be very interesting. So the second half of the layout, the portion from building 989 on the plans back to station building 990, there appears to be an intimate flume elevator lift followed by a sizable drop which takes boats under the entrance and exit pathways next to building 990B. By the way, we have got all through this in a previous video, but I'm just recapping you guys because it has been a while since our last update on this project. From there, there's a long straight portion of flume below building 990C before take the final splash down, taking the final splash down above building 993. Now we're pretty sure according to part fans, this lengthy straight section will feature an airtime hill similar to the one found at Chapas at Fantasialand. The finale sequence alone is pretty neat, but it's possible that the first half of the is actually the most interesting. At the top right of building 990, there's a portion of the layout in a narrow trough with some sort of conveyance method. At first glance, this looks to be a pretty normal run-of-the-mill log flume lift, but this said, there are some serious oddities here. There's no indication, firstly, that this portion of the layout ever departs the trough it starts in. In fact, it almost looks like the layout only gains altitude after the first after the conveyance method ends. Note the support footers. Another oddity is that after the conveyance portion of the layout, uh, there is a stretch of elevated flume that crosses a previous part of the layout and a service road. And it seems to me like this would make sense to cross these elements at the highest point of this portion of the ride, which, if the conveyance method was a lift, would be at the top of the said lift. That said, in that case, the layout crosses both of these elements at the halfway point uh, between the end of the trough, odd trough portion with the conveyance method and the start of the splashdown Almost as if the elevator trough portion we see in the plans is an airtime hill, like what we saw earlier in the layout. Putting the details together, it almost looks to, uh, to part fans, and I think I'm getting that kind of feeling as well, that the trough area could be some sort of launch leading into an airtime hill followed by a splashdown. Now, of course, part fans and any of us that predict this will be the first to admit that this is a long shot, as Intamin I don't think has ever built a launch on a, on a flume ride like this before. That said though, given the indicators above, it's a real possibility. It is more likely that this is just a lift over a ground level trough followed by an awkward, very drawn out drop. Uh, possibly, that said, if we've learned anything from leaks featuring Intamin projects over the last few years, it's always to expect the unexpected. 
Imagine how marketable the first launch log flume in the world would be. That sounds like something SeaWorld, Ant San Antonio and Intamin would be all over. So, that is what we are looking at in terms of the attraction. Uh, and the type of the attraction and what we're expecting on the layout. So this is a replacement for Texas Splashdown. Let's share my thoughts on the on the um, indication that an announcement could be coming quite soon in the next few weeks. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages. That is the latest on Seal San Antonio's new attraction for next year. We've spoken all about the details on the plans in a previous video, what about a, few, a good few months ago now. And... Basically, this is where we're at. We're looking at an announcement between the next couple of weeks and next few weeks. And any time in the next couple of weeks or so, or few weeks or so, we'll be getting an announcement, hopefully from SeaWorld San Antonio, on the new attraction. Now, of course, this is located uh, just behind um, uh, Waybreaker on one side. You've also got the uh, um, Great White Coaster on the other side. So, you, for me, you've got some interesting themes going on uh, in front of it. I believe this will be maybe on a similar lines to Wavebreaker in terms of themes, however I could be wrong. Um, however, I do not rule out any other potential themes. So, I think SeaWorld could be doing a really good thing with this particular attraction, reusing Texas Splashdown, uh, using some of the sections and reusing certain sections including Q-Line and sections of the track and also introducing some newer elements. Now from the plans and from what we've talked about from the plans, very much 100% certain this will be manufactured and built by Intamin. This will be an Intamin attraction for next year. Um, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. So I'm looking forward to the announcement. We've got some really good ex announcements coming up in the next few weeks. Busch Gardens Williamsburg with their Dark Coaster. Um, Seawall San Antonio with the Flume Ride, some good announcements coming up in the UK over the next few months uh, for attractions next year, so I'm really looking forward to what the world of theme parks has got in store for the next few months. So, thank you very much guys for watching this video, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and for now, I am the CHLL, Dunkster born, but built for theme parks, and your theme park journalist worldwide, keep living the coaster life. I'll see you guys next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a SeaWorld-tastic day. Shout out to part fans. Keep doing great work.